Hi gang. Look at this. This is a beautifully long Wensleydale that I got from Camage Fiber Arts for doing the scouring wool, the hard wool module. This Wensleydale, while being gorgeous, is also incredibly dirty. Like this, this is a challenge to scour for sure, which is what I bought it for, to be the challenge. So I took this fleece and I washed it up the way I would normally wash a fleece. So let's look at my results. So this is straight into the scour. This is one wash, one rinse. And you can see there's still little chunks of black in there. Although it's definitely much cleaner than it was. Now, when I'm scouring a fleece with really dirty tips, when the tips are under the water, I tap on them to try to loosen some of that dirt. Only when it's underwater, and I never rubber agitate, I just tap. But I didn't get to all the tips because I didn't lay it out in lock formation. I just threw it into the bin for washing. So this is one scour, one rinse. That's all that's been done. Now, I watched Mary's course from the Camage Fiber Arts School. And this is the locks that I spun using her method, or spun, that I washed using her methods. Again, one scour, one rinse. With the second scour, this one would be pristinely clean. You can see how much cleaner the tips are. I'm not gonna tell you the secret. You're gonna have to go and take the course to find out the secrets. There's a few little tips that I missed, but for the most part, these tips are gorgeous. There is a canary stain on this fleece here. Nothing will fix that except for dye, which I don't have a problem with. There is so little veggie matter in this fleece, but look how white and pretty that is. So how much better is it than my sample? Well, let's lay them side by side and have a close look. We'll start with the tips. So this is Mary's and this is mine. And you can see that Mary's method definitely got the tips a lot cleaner. Mary's method, mine. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera but this one definitely has an overall grayish cast to it from the dirt that's left in it. Then when we look at the center chunk here, again, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but this still has that grayish cast in this section of the fleece. And you can see how pretty these ones came out as opposed to these ones. And then we get all the way to the base of the locks. Mary's is so much whiter. This one is still has a bit of a yellow cast to it. I'm not sure this is going to show up on camera. So you're just going to have to take my word for it that this one is so much whiter. So much whiter. If I have to, I'll take a still picture and see if it shows up on there. But those are the comparisons between the two methods. So yes, if you want to scour a fleece that looks like this and have it end up looking like this, for sure take Mary's course. And if you're not an experienced scourer, if you've never done it before and you're looking for guidance, 
you should probably take the whole course because Mary is very smart and she's a good teacher and she'll teach you how to scour anything, including stuff that looks like this. I'll include a link for anybody who's looking for courses and wishes to participate in any of her courses. Highly recommend. I love Mary. She's great. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.